There was just way too much hype around the 48 megapixel camera on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. But I would say it turned out to be not that good. I mean, sure, it makes a big difference in some situations. Like, look at this comparison. But in most cases, it doesn't. The difference is just marginal. And the most important thing to note is, you cannot click those 48 megapixel photos with HDR on, in the stock camera app at least. But luckily, there is a workaround for this. And that's what we are gonna see in this video. Before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Ashwin Sundar, this is Technology Jock. Subscribe to the channel and more importantly, hit the bell icon for more useful tutorials like this. Guys, if you own a Note 7 or Note 7 Pro, or if you're planning to get one, our sponsor Glazed Ink offers the best display protection for it. There is a full glue edge to edge glass, and then there's a real curved glass with actual 2.5D curved glass along the edges. Their real curved glass for the POCO F1 is the best in India right now, and they have introduced the same glass for the Note 7 and Note 7 Pro now. So you don't have to deal with that awkward gap on the sides, which you get from installing most other tempered glasses in the market. They have glasses for a lot of other phones as well, including the Galaxy A50 and M30. So check out Glazedink, link is in the description. You can use the promo code TJOCK to get 10% discount. Now you probably figured it out from the title. Uh, yes, the solution involves Google camera, but it's not as simple as setting the resolution to 48 megapixels. There are a few more easy steps to follow. The thing is, even after setting the resolution to 48 megapixels, Google camera still captures images in 12 megapixels only. So the workaround here is, just switch to portrait mode and Google camera becomes a beast and starts capturing glorious 48 megapixel photos. Now, of course, we want all the pictures in 48 megapixel resolution, not just portraits, right? So how do we make portrait mode act like the regular camera mode? Easy, but let's first see what are the differences between both modes. In portrait mode, when there is a face in the scene, the background is blurred out. Uh, number two, the frame is zoomed in. And number three, the regular camera mode has HDR plus enhanced, but there is no such option in portrait mode. Now, here are the solutions. Number one, yes, the background is blurred out, but the app also saves a copy of the original photo without the blur. And to enable HDR plus enhanced and disable zoom, go to settings, Gcam settings, and enable the first two options. Done. Now, portrait mode is basically the same as the regular camera mode except you can shoot some ultra sharp 48 megapixel photos. Here's a comparison between the 48 megapixel pictures shot on the stock camera app and the Google camera app. The difference is quite easily noticeable. Obviously, the Google camera images have much better dynamic range. Look at the brighter regions. The highlights are blown out on the stock camera image. On the Google camera image, all the details are preserved. The Google camera images are also slightly sharper. The detail levels are just mind blowing. Now guys, if you don't understand those technical terms like dynamic range, highlights, shadows, etc., then go watch this video. I've explained everything in very simple terms. It's the only video you need to watch to become an expert. And of course, since this is actually portrait mode, the portraits are also in 48 megapixels. The stock camera app on the other hand allows you to capture only 12 megapixel portraits. In case you have issues with saturation, if the colors are very dull, then go to settings, Gcam settings, saturation adjustments, and set these values. So that's it guys, just a quick video demonstrating Google camera's 48 megapixel capability. A lot of people find the stock camera's 48 megapixel mode to be slightly underwhelming. So for those of you, I highly recommend using this app instead. You're gonna be impressed for sure. Guys, if you found this video helpful and informative, subscribe to Technology Jock and hit the bell icon. Uh, share this video with your friends and family who have the Note 7 Pro. And don't forget to check out Glazeding Tempered Glasses, link in the description. So thank you for watching. This is Ashwin Sundar, leaving for the moment. Have a nice day. Bye.